friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india draping is very important do the draping very nicely and while you apply the speculum make sure that the lead margins are nicely covered and when the instruments go in and come out the instruments should not come in contact with the lead margin apply few drops of povidone iodine and irrigate the ocular surface thoroughly and as you see this is a posterior polar cataract most of the lens is clear except that around onion hole like appearance opaque area so let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with the 2.8 mm steel keratome at mid limbus now 2% spmc is injected into the anterior chamber and it is applied over the cornea for better visibility and for protection of the corneal epithelium and now this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away and this is another side port on the right side of the main incision about same distance away and now a ureter forceps is taken a capsular tag is raised with its tip the tag is held and it is guided anti clockwise in such a way that it is the torn margin is at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated pupil and since i may have to place a lens in the sulcus in this case this size of this rex is is about 5 mm or 5.25 mm now hydro delineation not hydro dissection i did hydro delineation but at this time i didn't get a golden ring however i tried to no this is hydro free dissection from rex's margin up to equator i can separate the cortex and the capsule with the help of this instrument this is an iris spatula the superior cortex can be separated going through the side port now i tried to scoop out the nucleus but i failed and now this is hydro delineation again and at this time i found a beautiful golden ring i take i inject visco again and now i go into the anterior chamber with the tip of the phaco needle aspirate some superficial cortical lens matter and try to remove the nucleus I try to make the nucleus stand out and it is it stands out but this is a very small nucleus most of the lens matter is still there it is epinucleus and cortex a thick sheet of epinucleus and cortex is there and it is not coming off because i didn't do hydro dissection now i inject visco again and this is hydro dissection i'm trying i'm doing hydro dissection at this time because i have to separate this epinucleus cortex complex from the capsule otherwise it will not come off 
all around I did hydro went through the left side port and did hydro of the superior aspect but the epinucleus cortex complex doesn't buzz so what I do is I take the iris spatula and try to scoop out the epinucleus from the back this is removing from the right side and this is from the left so I could move the epinucleus cortex complex from the bag at least from two points from nine o'clock and three o'clock now I go to the anterior chamber with the tip of the phaco needle and remove the loose lens matter that has come to the central part but lot of lens matter is still there so inject visco and I take the spatula go through the right side port and pull the epinucleus towards the center epinucleus from 12 o'clock pull it towards cen center this is the epinucleus cortex complex this is that is not moving now I introduce the spatula behind this epinucleus and most of the epinucleus is now at the central part yes so the battle is conquered the epinucleus cortex complex is now out of the capsular bag but we don't know what has happened to the area of posterior polar cataract if it is a true PPC it has torn but if it is not probably it is intact before anything happens before vitreous prolapses let us remove this cortical epinuclear material and I find that the posterior capsule is intact but at this time before I come out I ask my assistant to inject visco and here it is visco is there filling up the SE now I have taken bimanual irrigation aspiration and removing the cortical matter my plan is to remove most of the cortex without changing hands so most of the cortex except the sub sideboard cortex at 2 o'clock is being removed and it has come off very nicely and now this is the sub sideboard cortex I had to change hands to remove this and 
here it is this is the last speck of cortex it has come and posterior capsule is clear no piscident and now this is the time for implanting an intraocular lens in this case a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is being implanted in the capsular bag the leading haptic of the intraocular lens has gone into the capsular bag but the trailing haptic is still in the angle just in front of the main incision so i take a sinski go through the right side port and remove and play, place the intraocular lens in the capsular bag now the side ports are closed hydrating corneal stroma on either side of these stab wounds and then this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber at this time whatever visco sticks to the corneal endothelium is removed by the simco directing a gentle stream of bss towards the endothelium anterior chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded be better do better thank you very much for your attention